or founding documents. So it has been, so it must be with this generation of Americans. That we are in the midst of crisis is now well understood. Our nation is at war against a far-reaching network of violence and hatred. Our economy is badly weakened, a consequence of greed and irresponsibility on the part of some, but also our collective failure to make hard choices and prepare the nation for a new age. Homes have been lost, jobs shed, businesses shuttered. Our health care is too costly, our schools fail too many, and each day brings further evidence that the ways we use energy strengthen our adversaries and threaten our planet. These are the indicators of crisis, subject to data and statistics. Less measurable, but no less profound, is a sapping of confidence across our land. A nagging fear that America's decline is inevitable, that the next generation must lower its sights. Today, I say to you that the challenges we face are real. They are serious and they are many. They will not be met easily or in a short span of time. But know this, America, they will be met. Yeah. On this day, we gather because we have chosen hope over fear, unity of purpose over conflict and discord. On this day, we come to proclaim an end to the petty grievances and false promises, the recriminations and worn-out dogmas that for far too long have strangled our politics. We remain a young nation, but in the words of Scripture, the time has come to set aside childish things. The time has come to reaffirm our enduring spirit, to choose our better history, to carry forward that precious gift, that noble idea passed on from generation to generation, the God-given promise that all are equal, all are free, and all deserve a chance to pursue their full measure of happiness. All right, well, that was the uh, swearing in of the 44th president, Barack Obama. It's unbelievable. The parade's gonna go on over there. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to make it to it. Just had a hot dog and uh, some hot cocoa and uh, some chips. And I am really cold now. Uh, as soon as people started leaving, it started getting really cold. I couldn't feel my feet for a while. It kind of got numb. And, uh, and anyhow, so uh, I just want to let you know what's up. Uh, it's cold, people are starting to leave. And either go to the parade. I need to find some warm place to go to. And uh, yeah. So there you have it, D.C. Five more days of my birthday. Woo! 30. And so I'm going to go exploring a little bit. Maybe you can explore somewhere warmer. And I'll uh, check in with you guys later. Over there, you see the, uh, the band is practicing, getting ready for the parade. The parade routes. Unfortunately, we won't be able to go there because there are way too many people. Um, heading to the exit, probably try to go to some place nice and warm. But um, yeah, you can see the line of porta potties. They stretch for miles over there. See, and they all go all the way back and forth. And that's just one sample of them. There's a bunch of them everywhere. So yeah, everyone's leaving, and everyone's exiting.
Washington, D.C. I am a piece of coat. I am a piece of Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama.